Hello and welcome to another beauty box unboxing. Today it's one of my subscription boxes. It's the OK box for March, April 2023. So this is £15 per month on a rolling subscri subscription basis so you can cancel at any time. There's an offer on at the moment for new subscribers to get their first box for £7.50 using the code 67BEAUTYBOX. So with this one, they start to distribute it on the 15th of the month. So if you want to order this particular one, you'd need to do it before the middle of April otherwise the next box will be out and I think that would be the one that you would get so in the box you also get a couple of vouchers for the OK magazine there we go and there's a leaflet as well which has information on the products including pricing information which with OK it's normally pretty much spot on I do check it out where I can though there's a QR code as well that leads you to their beauty blog each time now this month the box is worth over 105 pounds and it's called the all about you edit and they say indulge in six products to serve up a fabulous feel-good ritual in the latest okay beauty box so the first product in this month is by pixie and it's the milky remedy mask this is full size 300 mils it's worth 20 pounds and it is on the brand's website at that price so OK says if you want a mask to smooth and soothe your skin in one, you will love this. And the brand lists, lists the ingredients as coconut, which nourishes and conditions, oat extract, soothes and hydrates, chamomile, calm skin and soothes irritation, and sea buckthorn, which hydrates and reduces redness. So to use this, you apply a thick layer morning or evening as needed leave it on for 10 minutes then rinse or tissue the mask off and it is suitable for all skin types so i've had a go with this there is a video on the brand's website showing you how to do it and it's really rather good and it's like a little ice cream pot isn't it and then at the back there's this little slot i've sort of half taken it out because it is quite fiddly to get out without my glasses on um a little spatula and in the video they show that you sort of spatula Put a spatula full, dab it on your cheek, your forehead, your chin, and then rub it in. So that's how I, well, I didn't use this actually. I used my fingers because I wanted to show you this all unused. So there is a little plastic insert lid at the top, which I can hopefully get that off. And then lots and lots of this product. So it is like a kind of a jelly texture and you do put quite a bit more than that as blobs on each of your areas i think they did it for showed four areas in the video to put it on do, 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 do. and then just massage it in but leave it quite layered quite thickly so i had a go with this this morning i was slightly cautious because i have had an issue with another product in here actually and my skin's been very sensitive of late so i'm really careful about what i put on it with this one because of the sort of see-through nature of it you can kind of see what your skin's doing underneath though so i did keep an eye just to make sure i wasn't reacting i didn't think i would from what was listed as the ingredients but you just never know so I watched and waited. It did slightly tingle ever so slightly. And I'm not sure whether that was in my, my imagination, actually. To be fair, it could have been. But I was, it was because I was being concerned. Um, I had no need for concern because nothing happened. I rinsed it off. It was a bit of a faff to rinse off because it was so thick. You're sort of trying to rinse it off and thinking it's not actually going anywhere. So I did get a soft damp cloth afterwards to help rinse it off that way then i had a look at my skin because i think there was um a comment on the website saying that it reduces redness in an instant was one of the comments on there and i thought well i do actually get redness on my cheeks anyway um so i had a little look and i can't be a hundred percent certain but i think it did a little bit it did look my tone looked a bit cooler afterwards and as a product itself it had a cooling nature to it so i quite like it there is a bit of a smell nothing really obvious maybe ever so slightly citrusy i would say oh that do you know i was wondering what's that it's my mirror 
So sorry if you've had a glare on me the whole of the, that time. I've only just noticed, Ella, what's that going on there? Um, so, yeah, I think I will use it again. There's so much of it, though. I just don't know whether I'm ever going to get through all of that. So what I tend to do with things like this is I keep them for about a month, see if I've used them. If I haven't used them by then, I'll pass them on to someone else. I just have to check out the um, use by sort of how long you can use it after you've opened it and make sure that it goes to someone if I'm not using it. Okay, the next item. Now, the next item is one that I have had a bit of a problem with, but, you know, I'm sure lots of other people will love it. it in fact, I'm just going to pause for a second because I'm just going to wipe this off my hand. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is by Esper. It's the Triactive Regenerating Moisture Complex. 15 mils, a travel size worth £19. Now, the brand sells 55 mils for £70. They say this ultra rich cream brings you maximum nourishment and supports the skin's natural renewal process through gentle hydrating exfoliation. The triactive regenerating moisture complex not only plumps and hydrates, but minimizes visible signs of aging, aging from wrinkles and fine lines to dull textures by resurfacing healthy skin cells. So the key ingredients for this are green tea extract, a source of antioxidant to help protect from environmental damage, a blend of botanical lipids, including macadamia nut oil, camellia seed oil, sweet almond oil and mango seed butter, which help to seal in moisture by reinforcing the skin's hydration barrier, bioretinol from Biden's pilosa, which smooths the appearance of wrinkles, sea amber, a brown sea seaweed algae to help smooth the appearance of the skin, black willow bark, and this is a source of salicylic acid, a BHA, that helps increase cell turnover for enhanced skin radiance through exfoliation. Gosh, breathe, breathe. And lavender, renowned for its soothing and restful aromatics. You apply it with your fingertips, tap into your face, neck and decote before smoothing it in gentle upward strokes until fully absorbed. Whew. So... This is the one I had a problem with. Do you know what? When I read the ingredients, I knew it wasn't probably going to be for me. Salicylic acid for me can be a bit of a red flag, danger, alert, alert sort of ingredient. I do try them out on my chin because that's my sort of area to test these things on. And I did have a slight reaction, so I didn't go any further with this one. Now, it does have an interesting smell to it, though. And so it's a bit of a shame, really, because I think I would have liked to use this for its smell properties. It's got definitely a lavender kind of smell to it. But yeah, oh, my goodness, I don't know what's in there, but that reminds me of like um almost like a curry pa powder not curry powder but curry sort of ingredient thing like a thai curry um it's got a very interesting smell to it and i really like that i am a little bit gutted i can't use that simply because i love the smell so much but it's not one for me unfortunately I will be passing it on to someone else who won't have the same effect from it that I do. Okay, the next item is by Figs and Rouge, and it is the Ginseng Overnight Eye Mask. It's 25 mils, full size, worth £38. And it is on the brand's website at that price and showing as a new arrival. So that's nice to get a new product as well, isn't it? They describe it as a supercharged, ultra creamy overnight mask, which is formulated to help brighten, depuff and reduce fine lines. They mentioned that vitamin A is in it, retinol, which works to restore the delicate under eye area after daily UV exposure. And plumping and hydrating hyaluronic acid helps to perfectly condition and combat moisture loss and it also contains licorice and mulberry so to use this you apply to cleanse skin at night using your wing finger dab gently from the inner eye corner along the orbital bone and upwards towards the brow avoid the eyelids with this one and of course the eye so this is what it looks like so it's in pretty pink packaging and the cream itself is pink which i quite like 
quite a bright pink actually. So with this one, I always use the wrong finger. That's the finger you're supposed to use, your ring finger. I always use that one. I always say that. I know I shouldn't, but there you go. Um, I don't use the middle finger. Anyway, you dab that in like that. Now with this one, I was quite pleased because with often with retinal eye products, they can be a little bit strong for me because I do have sensitive skin and particularly under my eye area, it's really sensitive and I have had it react on many, many occasions. And I tend to stick to just a couple of eye creams, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this one out. And I have been trying it not over the whole eye area though, because I really, really am desperate to get rid of some wrinkly bits here. So I've been trying it on there. No reaction whatsoever. So I'm hoping that I can carry on using this and try and even my eyes out because I don't have many creases on this side. So I want this eye to look the same. So we'll see how we get on with that one. But I'm hoping it is going to have a, a good effect on that. I've just got high hopes for it for some reason. OK, bear with me a second because I am going to have to get rid of all the product off my hand again. I'll be back in a sec. OK, the next item is this is actually one of my favourites. I know it's only little, but I really, really like this. I've had it a couple of times before. It's by Corrie's. It's the Santorini Grape Body Cleanser. It's 40 mils, a travel size, and OK says it's worth £2.40. The brand sells 250 mils for £14. So that sounds like a fair valuation. A fresh, fruity aroma of juicy grapes, berries and violet with a hint of lime. This is what the brand says, I think. The gel to foam shower gel combines aloe extract, wheat proteins and althea extract marshmallow root to help maintain the skin's natural moisture level for a comforting clean each day. And OK mentioned that in user tests, 100% saw an instant improvement in hydration. So I'm not quite sure what that means. I presume if if you're you using it on dry skin, maybe you see um, an instant improvement in hydration. I'm not 100% sure what that was. I didn't actually notice that whatsoever. I wish I'd paid more attention. Anyway, I really like this because it's got a very interesting smell. Now, oh my gosh, it smells. So you can get the grapes in there. I'll put it on the back of my hand, even though it is just sort of gel formula it's not very exciting to see um but the smell for me is just wonderful it smell but it has got a really odd background smell as well um it smells of grape and jelly tots this is one of my jelly tot ones i really like this it just smells of, and i think oh my gosh that is jelly tot I think it's the lime one because it does say it's got a dash of lime in there and it just gives off that smell for me. Yeah, with a strange background smell as well, which I'm not overly sure about. Um, but I love, I love this. There's another fragrance they do, another fragrance, another kind of gel they do. I've forgotten which one it's called, but that's my ultimate favorite of these but i love this one too it does give a lovely foam i've used it once i'm not entirely sure how much is left in there actually but um it's great i'm happy happy to get it again it always brings a smile to my face um because of the smell which is what a shower gel should do really in my opinion okay then as well as clean obviously Right, the next item is a Lucky Dip item. And I'm quite happy with my what I got. So it's basically a Lucky Dip on nail polish. They're all nail HQ, H, H. My mum would have told me off for saying H. H, she used to say, it. she was a teacher. Nail HQ nail lacquer and 10 mil full size versions worth £6.99. OK says you will get one of three trending neutral colours, either espresso, a deep dusty pink, mocha, a cool toned stone shade or latte, a soft muted pink. They say all the lacquers feature a richly pigmented formula that's silky smooth to apply and gives a glossy high shine finish. All the products are cruelty free. So obviously you can probably tell 
from what I've been wearing as well today that I got the mocha one, which they say is the cool tone stone shade. I actually like to think of it as mushroom. It looks mushroom to me. I don't know why, but that's my my take on it. I was going to do something interesting and exciting with the ring finger like I normally do, but I forgot. Sorry about that. So this is what it looks like. Now, I've never had nail polish from this brand before. It's got a lovely thick brush, which is my preferred type of brush. Um, I really liked it. It went on beautifully. Now, it says they give the usual how to put it on, which is use two coats, coats on top of the base coat, waiting in between each layer for it to dry. They say for two to three minutes. I would never leave it for that short a period even like the 60 second ones I leave for at least 10 because otherwise they tend to go all funny. Um, I've never found one that dries really instantly. If you know of one, please let me know. Um, and then of course you seal it with a top coat, which is what I've done. I've used two coats. I think actually I could potentially have got away with one if I was in a rush. It does give quite good coverage on this one so yeah i really quite like that i think it's a lovely um mushroom kind of color um and i think it would go with lots and lots of outfits so happy with that and happy to try a new brand for nails because i i love try as you probably guess i love getting nail polish i get it outside of the boxes um and quite often just love trying it out and I would try some of the other colors so I might have to look into that okay the last item now this I've left this till last for a purpose so I realize I'm sliding down my chair slowly you can tell there because look the back's going up and oh gosh um right so the last item sorry is by eight greens and it's the skin effervescent eff <laughs> effervescent i knew i'd get that wrong i did do a little rehearsal earlier and got that wrong Eff effervescent tablets you get one tube of 10 so this is actually worth 15 pounds 99 and you can get this size on the brand's website at that price now they do do bigger sizes 60 tablets for 78 pounds they do do a subscription service where it's a bit cheaper at that size to so take it to 66 pounds 30 every two months which i suppose if you were using this as um a, a supplement or as a skincare sort of product that would be an okay price i guess i don't really know okay says so get your greens the easy way with these dissolvable effervescent tablets the drink hailed as a facial in a glass also contains marine collagen and biotin so the greens included according to the brand are green tea, broccoli, aloe vera, kale, spinach, peppermint, alfalfa and collard greens. And it, biotin also has a few beauty benefits as well. It's helping improving skin. It helps with hair health. And some studies have found that it can strengthen fingernails and make them grow faster. So, OK, so the drink is designed to tackle aging, promote skin elasticity and reduce acne. And it's gluten free, has 10 calories and tastes like apple. So the reason I put the bit in about the biotin is because that's one of my, obviously the hair health has been a problem for me lately. My skin hasn't been the best lately. Um, and my nails have been breaking all over the place. So I'm thinking, do you know what? These might be okay for me. Now, one thing though, it is classed as a food supplement. So it does contain the usual warnings on the packaging. Now, they are in very small writing. I literally had to take a photo of them and then enlarge it just to check they were on here. But it does say that if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, on medication or have a medical condition, you should consult a pharmacist or your GP or con consult somebody before taking this if you've got any concerns whatsoever. So there is that about them and i know someone in particular who's really might have concerns but i am going to try it out and i haven't tried it yet now one of the things about this is the way you open it so when i got it there's like another band here under this lid and it was joined 
and there's a tiny little picture here of someone holding it and sort of opening it like that you push the cap up now i couldn't do i couldn't do it i did try there was no way i've got very weak thumb because i've got nerve damage in um, one of my thumbs so it was very difficult for me to open and i had to get someone to open it now it's fine look it just pops up like that Ooh, and there's this inside um i haven't tried it out yet now i did read some reviews and it was interesting because one of the reviews did say it's a detox that really works drank a glass with one tablet and was on the toilet within two hours after so uh, that's one of the reasons that i haven't tried it out yet because i have been out and about this week and i thought you know what i don't want to be running for the loo if it's going to do that to me and it does say i think on the brand's website that if you have too many it could have that sort of laxative effect i'm hoping that one's not going to do that to me so this is what it looks like so to use it you get one of the tablets you get 240 mils of water which i have here to hand pop it in and let's see what happens yes so wait as it fizzes you wait i don't know how long that's going to take we could be sitting here all night I just realized it actually matches my top i didn't do that on purpose you know that's quite funny so this could take a while i reckon um but let's have a sniff what's happening i might have to just pause i can smell apple oh i can smell something oh gosh i can smell something almost serially what's in there i don't know but oh it's all the greens isn't it do you think that's what i can smell oh my goodness do you know what i can it smells like <laughs> it smells like soup it smells like soup now i've just remembered that it's got vegetables in i can smell vegetables and it. it smells like soup i'm not entirely sure the apple smells gone completely for me oh my goodness me i'm not sure about this whatsoever okay so i have got a spoon i've come prepared today which is very unusual it looks like one of those horrendous health drinks doesn't it like those smoothies that i'm not very i'm not a healthy person in that respect um so this is probably a really good one for me actually it will make me eat my veggies it's taking forever i'm gonna pause it because otherwise we'll be here all day i'll be back in a sec when it's fully dissolved okay so that did take quite a long time actually but and i don't think it's quite completely dissolved but i was getting bored so interesting color doesn't smell of apple anymore Oh, I'm, I'm not sure I want to do this. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. Bear in mind, I'm not a, I'm not overly keen on veggies. I like sprouts, but that's about it. it. Doesn't smell of sprouts. I'm not sure what it smells of. I think it might be broccoli, and I don't like broccoli much. But let's have, give it a go. actually that's not too bad it's not too bad at all it smells worse than it tastes so it's doable i think mm, there is a vague appleness to it there is a vague sweetness to it actually i can cope with that i think whether i do i'm not going to look forward to it should we say that much it's not going to be one of those i think oh yeah let's go and have a drink of the vegetables anyway what an interesting box i actually think this month's box is so interesting i like the pixie product i think it's a great size as well great value lovely lovely thing nice product to use as well i'm gonna give that one a go i'm really gonna try with that one the esper okay not for me but lots of people i think will adore that one the eye cream again I, i'm really interested to see how this one's going to work for me i think it could be something that i've been looking for who knows the shower gel is one of my favorite jelly topped smells with a little bit of underlying something and the i'm really pleased with the nail polish it's a new brand for me always looking for new nail polishes it did a great great job 
love the colour actually. And then of course the this is interesting. I'm not sure about it still. I'm not sure whether I like it. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use uh, have it every day. I'm going to try my best. I think. Um, interesting. Okay, so I think it's a really interesting box this month. I love okay. There have been occasions when the boxes haven't been that great for me, but for me this month, yeah, do you know what? It's all right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I have got some more to do. I've got two weeks off work now. I've still got my glossy box Easter egg to do, which I haven't done yet because there's about 10 items in there. And sometimes when there's so many, it's a, it's like you think, oh, I've got to write all that up. And I do have to write it up. I couldn't just do it off the bat because I, my brain's not good enough for that. Um, and I've got the latest in beauty trending edit for March, which I still haven't done. I think that one's sold out now. So probably should have done that a bit sooner. I'm a little bit behind, shall we say. But anyway, I shall do my best to get them done in the next couple of weeks while I'm up. So sending you lots and lots of love, positivity and happiness. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous weekend ahead. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.